Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your name that is far above every other name. Lord, you are Jehovah. You are the merciful and gracious Father whom we have come here tonight to fellowship with and to worship. Lord, we have realized that to know and to serve you is the most wonderful blessing that anyone can experience. Father, Lord God Almighty, we bless you, O oh God, for this wonderful privilege. Abba, Father, thank you, mighty God. We're here once again, Lord, to lay down all our burdens at your feet, O oh God, because we know that you care for us. Even though there's so much turmoil in the world, even though so many people have become hopeless and desperate and don't know where to turn to, but Father Lord God Almighty, we are those who do not look at our problems or our surroundings, but we are those who look unto you and to you alone. Father, Lord God Almighty, we don't want to be discouraged. We don't want, oh God, to be, we don't want our hearts to faint. We ask you to be the strength of our hearts. We ask you, oh God, to give us your everlasting peace. For you, oh God, are the Prince of Peace. Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, strengthen us tonight. Amen. Strengthen us this morning, oh God Almighty. Help us as we desire, oh God, and we seek to enter into your rest, oh God. Father, Lord God Almighty, draw us nearer to you. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, you are the God who fights for us. No matter the situation, oh God Almighty, we know that we can do nothing. But you are the one who is our helper. You are the one who fights for us. Father, Lord God Almighty, and so we are going to hold our peace. We are going to rely on you. We are going to depend on you. We are going to look up onto you. We are going to just completely surrender, oh God Almighty, to you. This morning, Father, that your name alone be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Lord and our God, if there is any way, in any way that we have sinned against you, my brother and my, my brothers and sisters, let us ask him to forgive us and to cleanse us from every sin, from every unrighteousness. We want to be able to come to him this morning boldly without any, any, any kind of blemish. We come by the name of Jesus. We come by having known that we have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Whether we have seen in our thoughts, in our actions, or in actions, oh God Almighty, Father, we are asking you right now, oh God, to have mercy upon us. Mm. Forgive us, oh God, our sins. Forgive us our ignorance. Forgive us for our foolishness. Forgive us, oh God, for that moment, oh God, that we lost our temper. Forgive us, Father, for that moment that we behaved inappropriately, oh God. That we were even, even, even if seemed to be unconscious of your existence. We didn't even think that you were there searching our thoughts and looking at us. There are times, oh God, that we are neither hot nor cold. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Father. We don't want you to spit us out of your mouth, Father. Lord God Almighty, draw us close.
closer and closer and closer to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, in this fellowship, in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith, oh God, we don't want any weight of sin to hinder us from running this race that is that you set ahead of us, Father. And so, Lord, this morning we're asking you, oh God, to remove any form of distraction, oh God, whatever it is that is preventing us from experiencing the fullness of God, oh, oh Father. Amen. Anything, oh God, that is stopping us from manifesting our sonship, oh God Almighty, Father Lord, take it away from us. Amen. Oh Lord God Almighty, we don't care, we don't care how long we have held on to it. We don't care, oh God, how long we've, we've, we've known that person, that those things have been in our lives, Father, Lord God Almighty. We no longer want to entertain them anymore, oh God. We no longer want to idolize those things anymore, Lord Jesus. We want you alone, oh God, to take preeminence, to have preeminence completely in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want, oh God, to hear to hear from you. We don't want anything that will prevent us from hearing from you every single day. Lord God Almighty, we're asking you to give us even today our daily bread. Amen. The bread, the bread of life, the bread that is able to purify us and to save our souls, oh God Almighty. Father, Lord God Almighty, give us that word of eternal life today. Lord God Almighty, we want to hear your voice. We don't want to grope in the, in the dark, Lord Jesus. We want you to, to hear you telling us where we should go, Father, Lord God Almighty. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, more than anything, more than anything, <laughs> we want to be close to you. We want to be close to you. The other day I was I was just being impressed and amazed by your relationship with Moses. The Bible says that you spoke to Moses face to face as one speaks to his friend. Father Lord God Almighty, I was also, I was also admiring Daniel, a man that you told incredible things, things that are still happening, things that will happen thousands of years after him. Father, Lord God Almighty, we, we are greater than Solomon, we are greater than Moses, we are greater than Daniel and Elijah and Elisha because of the spirit of sonship that we have, because of that spirit by which we call you Father. Yes. Therefore, Lord God Almighty, we make bold this morning, Father Lord, to ask, to have the audacity, oh God, to ask you for a double portion, Father Lord God Almighty, of that relationship, of that anointing, oh God, that these people had, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. My brother, my sister, this is this is a this is a this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a very 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 serious prayer that I want us to that has it has. A lot of implications for the next level that God wants to take us. So let us ask him with all seriousness and believe him because he is able to do it. There is nothing that God cannot do. He can usher us into a new plane, into a new dispensation with him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord God Almighty, so we pray, Father, even as... Even as you told Moses that you've answered him, oh God Almighty, and you revealed yourself to him, Lord. Father, Lord, we have this confidence and we believe also that we have found favor with you, oh God. And we are your friends, Lord Jesus. That in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith, Father, Lord, you found a special people, oh Lord God Almighty, who who are walking be before you, oh God, who desire, oh Lord Jesus, to your perfection, oh God, who Amen. desire, desire, who desire, who desire the righteousness of God, 
who hunger and thirst after you every single day who come together all the time, Lord Jesus, to seek your face, to dig deep into your word, Lord God Almighty, because we want to know you yes. more than anything else. Father, Lord God Almighty, give us the strength, Lord Jesus, to do your will, Lord God Amen. Almighty. Father, Lord, and to declare your word, even as your prophets, Lord Jesus, give us that courage, that boldness, Father, Lord God Almighty, to do that which you have asked us to do in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The other day, the other day, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me and said that he is not good, not, he is not good just because of what he does. In fact, he doesn't have to do anything at all to be good. He is good because of who he is. We've been told that his goodness personified. I have been, I have been trying to process the depth and the enormity of this statement. I want to go back again and listen to that message that Dr. preached the other day on the goodness of God. I want to be able to learn more. I want to know what this means, this goodness of God, this, this, this God, this God that his nature is goodness. Whether he does things to us that we consider to be good or not, but that is who he is. He is good. He never changes. And so I call him Jehovah goodness. And so we worship you, O oh God, Jehovah. We worship you, we worship you, we bless you, we bless you, we magnify your name, oh God. We worship you today, tomorrow, every single day of our lives, oh God Almighty, we have access to the exceeding riches of your goodness, Father Lord. No matter what happens to us, no matter what situation we find ourselves, oh God Almighty, we will see your goodness. Amen your goodness because you are ever present help because you never leave us you never forsake us therefore your goodness and your mercy oh god they are everywhere around us father lord god almighty we just have to open our eyes for us to see you oh god for us to see that goodness that is following us as we enter into every meeting every office as we open our businesses we will see your goodness father lord yeah. as people enter into our homes oh god they will see and experience your goodness father amen as our children oh god go to school wherever they go in everything that they do oh god almighty they will see your goodness amen father lord god almighty as we partake of this goodness lord people will receive and know your goodness through us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Hallelujah. On, 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 on Saturday, I saw the goodness of God. I was talking about it on Sunday. I saw a new dimension of Jehovah transportation. As, 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 as I said, as we left Chuchu's place, Stephen asked me, he said, Martins, how are we going to get home now? <laughs> I, just, I just told him casually that God will take us home on eagle's wings. I just said it casually. I didn't even know how to understand the, 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 the implication of what I, I said at that time until until I got home at exactly 10 p.m., even though it seemed impossible for me to get home at the time that I told my neighbor that I was going to be home. But that's not, that's not even the end of that test, testimony that I give, because it, it was a revelation that God gave me on that day. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 19, where first, first of all, it says that, you know how I carried you on eagle's wings 
and I brought you to myself. <laughs> you know how I carried you and I brought you to myself. For me, that scripture has become a rema, a revelation. Because wherever I'm going, <laughs> wherever I'm going, <laughs> God will carry me on eagle's wings to my destination. Amen. And so I want to declare it for each one of us here that in everything that we do, in wherever we go in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith, whatever goal that we have set to achieve, God will take us to that destination on eagle's wings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Presence will go with us. And he will give us good success. Amen. And more importantly, he will take us to himself. Lord God Almighty. Amen. You will take us to yourself. Yes. You will take us to yourself. Yes, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters, I've come here this morning to 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 for us to just make some declarations to declare war on the enemy. Jesus said that the kingdom of God suffers violence and that the violent take it by force. We are wrestling not against flesh and blood, as Paul told us, but against principalities and powers against princes of darkness that are in this world. And the whole point of, 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 of this of this of this of this turmoil of this struggle of this war that the devil is waging against us is just so that the glory of God will not be revealed in us so that God's plan for us will not be realized and is and that we will not experience the our power the power that we have with God that power of transformation there are there are things that I, I that I used to take for granted but God has opened my eyes now that I realize that I was just being ignorant now I admit that I was ignorant even though Paul said that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy but admit that indeed there was, there was time so there was a time before when I was ignorant but I bless God now because he has made me to realize certain things he has made me to realize the, the schemes of the of, of 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 the devil when and so there there there, there, there are times when we feel that okay this thing doesn't affect us but there are people all around us that have been affected, that are in captivity. When Abraham heard that Lot was captured, the Bible says that he mobilized his household and they went on the rescue mission from which he came back with spoils. When David and his men came back and they realized that their families had been taken, he went to God and he asked him that should I pursue these people and should, will, I, will I overtake them? And we already know the answer that God gave him. The rulers of the darkness of this, of, of, of this world, they are not asleep. They are always, the, the Bible says that the devil is going to and fro looking for whom he would devour. Mm -hmm. They are not in the villages, they are in, they are, they are in our offices, they are, they are, they are in governments, houses, they are in churches, they are doing all kinds of things to prevent the power of God from being manifested in our lives. And so tonight we are going to stand in the authority that God has given us and that, that confidence that we are going to declare and receive back our inheritance in God. Jeho. Varis your name, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle, 
Jehovah is your name. Father, Lord God Almighty, we proclaim this morning that we are sons of God. Amen. Stand, O oh God, in the victory that Jesus Christ has won for us. We trample, O oh God, upon serpents and upon scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. We declare that nothing shall by any means harm us. Amen. No evil shall befall us Amen. in the name of Jesus. No weapon that can hurt us or can harm us has ever been created, nor Amen. will ever be created. Amen. No enchantments, no witchcraft, no divination against us shall prevail. Amen. But we are untouchable, for we are impregnable. Every trap that the enemy has set for us, we decree today, this morning, this morning, that the enemy himself will fall into it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord of hosts, he is with us. For the lion of the tribe of Judah, he is our God. He is Amen. our God. Amen. So this morning, we decree and we declare that Satan is defeated and has fallen like lightning from heaven. Amen. So he has nothing to do for, to us. He cannot hurt our children. He cannot hurt any one of us because we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the declaration of our testimonies. Amen. That we have in Jesus Christ. Any of our children that the enemy has, 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 has been lying to or has held captive, any member of our family that has, that has not known the Lord, that the devil has held in captivity. This morning would declare, would decree their freedom in the name of Jesus. Amen. We keep every prison doors to be opened right now, Father. We, we decree, O oh Lord God Almighty, the salvation of the souls of every member of our family in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare, O oh God Almighty, that every backwardness that we experience, every retrogression, oh God, every every attack that his enemy has brought upon our business, upon our progress, Father Lord God Almighty, we declare end to those attacks right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether it is attack on our on our prayer lives, Father Lord God Almighty, we receive your strength, we receive your empowerment this morning to stand on our watch. Oh God Almighty, and to and to and to and to, and to pray to you, oh God, because you told us that we, we we ought to pray always and not to faint, Lord God Almighty. And so, Lord, we will not be discouraged, Amen. Father Lord God Almighty. We'll wait upon you, Father Lord, and we'll mount up with wings as eagles, Lord Jesus. Amen. We will run, O oh God, we will not faint, Amen. Lord God Almighty. We will walk, we will not be weary, O oh God Almighty. Amen. We will not be tired, Father Lord. We will, ne we will never quit in this race, in this pursuit of, of godliness, of righteousness. Oh God Almighty, we will not, we will not back down, Lord God Almighty. Amen. When we fall, Lord God, we will stand up because there is no condemnation in those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Everything that the devil, that the enemy has stolen from us. This morning, oh God, we decree, we pursue, and we overtake, and we recover all in the name of Jesus. Amen. We proclaim, oh God Almighty, recovery, recovery of our businesses, Father Lord God Almighty. Amen. All the investments that have been stolen, Lord Jesus, we recover them right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree recovery, O oh God, of our health, Lord Jesus. If it's any way, O oh God Almighty, that our health was suffering one ailment or the other, Father Lord God Almighty, every vicious circle of sickness, we break it, we break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether it is diabetes, whether it is fibroid, whether it is high blood pressure, whether it is anger, whether it is speech impediment, whatever it is, Father Lord God Almighty, we break the enemy's hold upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord God Almighty, we declare 
that because you are our dwelling place, O oh God, no plague shall come near our dwelling place. Amen. Father, whether it is Omicron, whether it is monkeypox, whether it is Lassa fever, it will not find us. Amen. It will not find us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, every vicious circle of marital failure, of early death, we break it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll live to a ripe old age and fulfill our days in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our marriages, oh God Almighty, they are for better, for worse. They are till death do our part in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, every vicious circle of poverty that has held people captive. Father, Lord God Almighty, we break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we decree. We've been praying that 2022 is a year of recovery. Yes. It's a year, oh God, of revival. Amen. This year, oh God, is the year of restoration. It's Amen. A year of in the name of Jesus. This, oh God, is the year of consolidation of your Amen. power. Amen. Life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we declare that we are unstoppable. Amen. <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for Nigeria. We say that this nation, this nation that fears God, upon whom God, the glory of God has risen, is unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No, no blood-sucking demon will cut short our lives. Amen. No bandits, no terrorists, no Boko Haram, no, 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 no full and yes men will terrorize us or make us afraid in the name Amen. of Jesus. We declare, oh God, we proclaim this morning, Father, that no power in the north, in the south, in the east or west or middle belt will hold this country hostage anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. We break their hold upon this country, Nigeria. Father Lord God Almighty, we, are in, we, are, we have been thrown into perpetual darkness because of lack of leadership. Oh God Almighty, Father Lord will declare and decree that let there be light in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be spiritual lights and physical lights to be sufficient everywhere, every part of this country in the name of Jesus. Amen. That people Amen. in the villages, oh God Almighty, will turn on their lights, oh God, and they will have lights all the Amen. time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we say that whether those powers that have held us captive, those, 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 those Egyptian politicians and bandits, that are running rampage, Father Lord, will say that we will see them no more in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will disappear from the horizon of leadership in Nigeria, oh God Almighty. Amen. Because you will fight for us. Yes. You will fight for us, oh God, and you will yes, give God. us victory. Yes. yes. You will give us victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, declare that. 2023 election, Father Lord, that righteousness will be victorious in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will hear the cries of your people, oh God Almighty, and you raise a new crop of leadership in this country in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, that our eyes will see, will see your salvation Amen. in this country, oh God. This country will arise. Even as the national anthem says, will arise, arise, O Nigeria. Amen. This land that the Lord God has given to his children, you will be at peace. For God himself will give you rest Amen. on every side. The Lord, this land, this land, this land, this land of Nigeria, Father Lord will declare that it is a land that is flowing with milk and honey. Amen. There will be abundance of fruitfulness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we declare that our farmlands will be fertile. Amen. We don't care whether there is climate change or not. 
Father Lord God Almighty, there will be bountiful harvests. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. there will be food everywhere in abundance and at affordable prices, oh God. Amen. Father Lord, we pray that our businesses will expand and flourish beyond the borders of this nation, Nigeria. Amen. Lord Almighty, we we pray that we will have a government that will give policy attention to the poor and disadvantaged people that are in this land. Amen. We pray, oh God, that government officials at the federal, state, and local government levels, oh God, they will rule with justice, with equity, and with righteousness in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, pray. Father, we bless you. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you, Father. You are a mighty warrior. You are a mighty warrior. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. In this month of August, I don't know what. I don't know what you are believing God for, but I'm believing God for open doors of opportunity. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that God will open doors that no one can shut. And he, Jesus has told us that he himself, he is, up, he is our door. Yes. And so who can shut that door that is Jesus himself? Nobody, okay. nobody, nobody. And so this month, this month, the remaining days of this month, we're going to declare and decree that all our expectations shall be met in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever we are applying for jobs, whether it is schools that we are applying for or contracts, whether it is funding applications we've made for our businesses, that doors will be opened for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whether we are seeking to build new relationships, God will cause us to find favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we ask that your face will shine upon us Amen. in this month of August like never before, oh God. Amen. Those places that we have toiled, that we have caught nothing or even little, oh Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, we declare this, this morning, oh God, that there will be bountiful harvest, Lord Jesus, that we will catch, we will catch, we will catch so much, Father Lord God Almighty, Amen. in our nets, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because you open our eyes, you open doors for us, you grant us your favor, oh God Almighty. Even as your son, Mr. Obi, prayed yesterday and said that gates will be opened perpetually, continually for us so that Gentiles will bring wealth to us, so shall it be, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, in this fellowship in Healing Wings Chapel of Faith, Father Lord, we pray that our doors will be opened continually, oh God Almighty. Amen. Our doors of kindness and love will be opened, oh God, that will usher men and women into our midst in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you bring new members into our midst, Lord Jesus. From every corner of the world, oh God Almighty, you draw them, oh God, to come and listen, to listen to your word that transforms lives, Lord Jesus. You bring them, oh God Almighty, to receive healing. Your healing, oh God Almighty, your anointing that you've given to us in this fellowship, Father. You bring people that they will be healed. Amen. Blind men, oh God, they will come. They, their eyes will open in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. The lame, oh God, will walk in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. 
sickness, all kinds of strangers that, are, that you've not put in people, oh God, they will disappear in the name of Amen. Jesus. And will receive your fullness, your fullness, your fullness, your fullness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we pray. Let us pray. Let us pray for Dr. Fermi Arbusala. Let us ask God to renew his strength like Amen. the eagles. Father, Lord, we pray that you will empower your son. Empower him, O oh God, anew, O oh God Almighty. Amen. We ask you for fresh anointing, fresh oil, Lord Jesus, upon his head in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, give him new grace to preach, to continue to preach, oh God, the unsearchable riches of Christ, Lord God Almighty. Give him new insights into your word, oh God. Use, oh God, his utterances, Father Lord, to perform miracles in the Amen. name of Jesus. Use his hands, oh God, to heal people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord God Almighty, do miracles through your son. Miracles that people will see and know that, that they will declare. Clear that this one is the finger of God that has done this. Amen. To we'll say that this one, it is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. Amen. Our Lord and our God, we're asking you, Lord, you know the desires of the heart of your son. You know those things that he's trusting you for, oh God Almighty. We pray. We pray that, oh God, you, you bring them to pass. Amen. You fulfill them in his life, oh God Almighty. Amen. Because they are for your glory. His, his, his desires, oh God, they are your desires. Because he's one with you. He's your son. He's your prophet. And so, Lord, let your will be done in his life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for... Let us pray for our children in healing weeks. Let us pray that God himself will be their teacher. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, who will commit these ones, these little ones into your hands. They are not our children, but they are yours. We pray that you grant that they will continue to grow, oh Lord, in, 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 in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding of, your, of you, O oh God Almighty. Amen. That this once, O oh God Almighty, you, you give them an understanding that is 10 times better than their peers in the name of Jesus. Amen. That this one's, oh God, that they will be intellectually fruitful and creative children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, we pray that no one will intimidate these ones, that they Amen. will not be peer pressured or pressed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That in righteousness, they will be established and they will stand firm upon your word that you've given to them, oh God. They will not Amen. depart from Amen. it Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray that in healing weeks, the children that you've given to us, even the ones that are yet to be born, we pray that they are for signs and for wonders in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are signs and for wonders in Ghana, in South Africa, in the United Kingdom, in the United States, in the uttermost parts of the world. Amen. Because they are the light of the world. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Let us pray that God will give us more children. 
Én heli új saplapét. Amen. It is the will of the Lord. It is the will of the Lord. So we pray. For those that are believing God, for children, we pray that God, you will open their wombs in the name of Jesus. And they will conceive. And they will not only conceive, Father, but they will carry their pregnancies to full term in the name of Jesus. Amen. For there to be more children, there has to be more there has to be more weddings. <laughs> and so we pray that there should be more wedding celebrations in healing wings in the name of Jesus. Amen. As far as I can remember, the last time that there was a wedding was in 2021. Father, we pray that this year has not ended. We pray that let there be a wedding celebration this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every single year, oh God Almighty, give us cause to celebrate. Yes. To celebrate weddings in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. So for that reason, Father Lord, we are sending you a special invitation to this special occasions, oh God, that you make it possible, Father Lord, for as many that I believe in you, oh God, to be married. Father, Lord God Almighty, you bring to them the bone of their bones and the flesh of their flesh in the name of Jesus. Amen. You grant the desires of their hearts and you meet their expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But there's nothing, 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 oh God, there is nothing that is impossible with you. There is nothing that is impossible with you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Lord, we shout hallelujah, hallelujah. And we praise you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, for your goodness, hallelujah, for your kindness, hallelujah, mercy, hallelujah, for your protection, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've been praying for for Benjamin Arinze. Father Lord, we lift up your son once again before you this morning. You have already started your healing work in him. So we ask this moment, oh God, that you that you perfect your healing in Benjamin in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you make him completely whole, Lord Jesus, from the Amen. crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Amen. Father Lord, you are his physician, Lord Jesus. We don't want the opinion of the doctors, but Lord God Almighty, you are the one who are his doctor, Father Lord, whatever it is that you have not planted in your in this, your son, Father Lord, we ask that you be to be uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, God Almighty, let your spirit 
your spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Father, Lord God Almighty, let it quicken, let it quicken your son right now, every part of his body. Amen. Benjamin will speak to, to you, to, to your body, spirit, and soul right now. We ask you to rise up from that bed. Rise up, rise up, rise up, Amen. and give praise to Jehovah. Rise up because the Lord is your healing. The Lord Amen. is your strength. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we pray that this is your son. He will go everywhere to and testify of your goodness. Amen. Because this is just your own conspiracy. This is just your own way, oh God, of calling this one, oh God, to be a, a prophet to, to you, oh God Almighty, to the nations, Father Lord. Amen. He would declare, he would declare your goodness. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will live to a ripe old age in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this moment that you've provided for us to spend in your presence. We thank you, oh God, for our eyes can see how we see all the work that you are doing and which you continue to do in our midst. Father Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful, oh God, and we thank you for your everlasting kindness. We thank you, Lord. We thank you and we bless you. We praise you for, er for everything that you've done for us and that which you are going to yet do. Every, every, every fiber of our being, every, everything in us, oh God Almighty, we use it to bless you, to bless you, to bless you and to praise your name. Father Lord, we pray, we ask and we declare this morning that we will move forward. Amen. We will enter into our promised land in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. We will walk upon our high places Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever we lay our hands to do, Father Lord, to today, Father, you cause it to be blessed and to prosper in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. You will be glorified in our deeds, in our thoughts, wherever we go, Lord Jesus, you will be glorified. Amen. You will be glorified. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your covenant, your covenant of peace that we have with you. Lord God Almighty, as we go to bed, Lord God Almighty, we'll have nothing, oh God, to be to, to be worried about. Amen. We wake up rejoicing because Amen. of your presence that Amen. is with us, that continues to be with us, Lord. Amen. We love you, oh God. We adore you. We bless you. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all Amen. the glory, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, worship. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you for Benjamin Arinze. We thank you for what you are doing in his life. Father, you say we should prophesy to dry bones. We prophesy, Lord, this morning to the bones in the gaze legs. We say receive life, receive redemption, receive healing in the name of Jesus. We say, Father, Lord God Almighty, let the healing take place speedily. Let the healing in his leg, Lord, speak your goodness and your glory. Let it declare, Father, Lord God Almighty, your majesty. 
Let it speak eloquently, Father, of your loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, you say we should commit our ways to you. So this morning, Lord God Almighty, we want to extend two invitations to you. Father, for some time we have not celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles. Lord God Almighty, we ask for you who goes before your people and you are their rear guard, that you furnish a table for us to celebrate you this year in the name of Jesus. We also ask Lord God Almighty that we we will be going back to uh, to actual service. I'm about to just say on the fourth of December, 2022, this year. And Lord, we're asking for the equipment that would enable us to continue to have that service on Zoom as well as in your direct presence. Lord God Almighty, we ask you, the great provider, Jehovah Jireh is your name. You, Jehovah goodness, as we have heard, make everything possible for us in the name of Jesus, for it is for your glory. Don't do it for us, Lord. Do it for your name's sake, that your name may be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Say to the righteous, you are the apple of God's eye, Elijah. You are the apple of God's eye. You are the apple of God's eye. You are the apple of God's eye.